in the heart of an old, dilapidated house, a group of amateur cannabis growers, Sarah, Mike, and Alex, gathered in the dusty basement. They were filled with excitement and anticipation as they transformed the forgotten space into a secret grow room. Dim lights illuminated rows of lush green plants, their leaves reaching for the ceiling as the growers tended to their budding creations. Unbeknownst to the trio, the basement held a dark secret, a lingering presence that haunted the very air they breathed. The room crackled with an unsettling energy, sending chills down their spines as they worked diligently amidst the humid atmosphere. Strange whispers echoed through the corridors of their minds, a foreboding chorus that promised turmoil and dread. As the cannabis plants flourished under their care, a presence emerged, a ghostly apparition draped in tattered garments, the spirit of a former grower, his face etched with anguish and despair, materialized before their eyes. The growers froze, their hearts pounding against their chests as the phantom spoke with a voice that carried the weight of tragedy. You trespass upon my realm, ignorant souls. The ghostly figure lamented, his voice filled with sorrow. I, too, was once consumed by the pursuit of cultivation, but it led to my downfall. Terror etched itself onto their faces as they exchanged uneasy glances, their minds racing to comprehend the magnitude of the situation. The ghostly grower, bound by unfinished business and a vengeful spirit, sought to claim their souls as recompense for his own tragic fate. Sarah, her voice trembling, managed to find her words. We, we had no idea. We never meant to disturb you. Please, spare us. But the ghostly grower's anger remained unyielding. Ignorance is no excuse. You must pay for the intrusion upon my domain, for the arrogance of your action. Turmoil seized their hearts as they realized the grave danger they were in. The grow room, once a sanctuary of potential and hope, had transformed into a prison of terror. Shadows danced along the walls, imbued with an otherworldly presence, as if reaching out to ensnare their trembling souls. As the nights wore on, the ghostly grower grew more desperate, his ethereal form manifesting with increasing malevolence. He whispered sinister promises of eternal torment, his spectral touch chilling their very bones. Sleep became elusive, their minds plagued by nightmares that bled into waking reality. Sarah, her voice heavy with despair, pleaded once more, we are sorry for what has transpired. Is there nothing we can do to appease your restless spirit? The ghostly grower paused, his spectral form flickering with a momentary hesitation. There is one way, he whispered, his voice a haunting echo. Leave this place forever, abandon your cultivation, and never tread upon this path again. Only then will you be spared from my relentless pursuit. With a newfound determination, the growers made their decision. They dismantled their grow room, their once prized plants reduced to a mere memory. They left the haunted basement behind, vowing never to return to the treacherous path they had embarked upon. And as they ventured into a new chapter of their lives, the ghostly grower's presence faded, his ethereal form dissipating like mist in the morning sun. The lesson had been learned the price paid in turmoil and sacrifice. The tale of the haunted grow room became a whispered legend among cannabis growers, a cautionary reminder of the consequences that await those who dare disturb the realm of the restless spirits. For in the pursuit of cultivation, one must tread carefully. For the spirits of the past may lurk, seeking to claim their due